Have you ever wondered why Apple still doesn't have a foldable iPhone, even though Samsung and others have been selling foldables for years? The answer might not be as simple as Apple can't make one. In fact, it looks more like Apple has been waiting watching its biggest rival, Samsung, prove that foldables can succeed before stepping in to try and dominate the space. Let's rewind for a second. 2025 has not exactly been smooth sailing for Apple. The iPhone 17 Pro got roasted online, with people complaining about its massive camera island. On top of that, Apple's efforts in AI haven't really convinced anyone. Yes, iOS 26 gave Siri a minor refresh, but when you compare it to what Google or Microsoft are doing, it feels underwhelming. And then there's the elephant in the room, no foldable iPhone. Meanwhile, Samsung just pulled off something huge. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 has broken sales records, finally proving that people are ready to embrace the foldable form factor in big numbers. That's an important milestone because until now, foldables were often criticized as gimmicky, too fragile, or too expensive. But with the Fold 7, Samsung seems to have nailed the formula durability, design, and features that actually make sense. And here's where Apple's strategy comes in. Apple isn't a company that usually jumps into brand new categories first. Think about it, they weren't the first to make an MP3 player a smartphone, or even a smartwatch. What they do instead is wait until the market is mature enough and then enter with a product so polished that it resets the standard that way. They avoid the risks of being early while still reaping the rewards once people are ready. So when it comes to foldables, it's not that Apple couldn't build one years ago. They have the talent, the money, and the resources. The real reason is that Apple didn't want to spend billions pushing a new form factor to consumers who weren't convinced yet. They let Samsung and Huawei do the heavy lifting, normalizing foldables, testing designs, and figuring out what works. And now that Samsung has proven foldables can be a hit, Apple has the perfect opening dot if history is any guide. Apple's foldable iPhone won't just copy what's already out there. It will probably focus on seamless software integration, durability, and design that makes people say, finally, this is the foldable I've been waiting for. Just like the first iPhone redefined smartphones in 2007, Apple could be planning to redefine foldables on its own terms. Of course, Apple's delay does come with some downsides. While waiting works in some cases, with AI it's backfired. People expected Apple to lead in this area, but instead, Siri's upgrade and Apple intelligence features feel more like catch-up than innovation.